if you are desperate to kick the booze, then my next guest claims to have all the answers in his new book, Kick the Drink Easily. He also has his own recipes for alternatives to the demon drink. Here to tell us more, the so-called juice master, Jason Vale. <laughs> So you're a great advert for not drinking because you look as fit as a fiddle. When did you okay. last have any alcohol? Uh, I don't know, 12 years ago, maybe? Oh, 10, 12 gosh. years ago. So I could look like you if I stopped. No, OK. What, <laughs> what am I... Don't laugh. <laughs> it is possible. Ish. What are the alternatives? What are you going to Okay, well, I'll make you a couple. I mean, first of all, you've got to remember that when it comes to stopping drinking anyway, it's, it, it's psychology, number yeah. one, and that's primarily what the book's about. Um, so you more, don't want to do it. Well, more, well a, lot of people, a lot of people do want... It's, it's, it's that in-between, you know? If you say to somebody, do you want to stop drinking, it creates fear. In fact, one of the people at the back, they want you to say, stop drinking forever? Do you mean, like, forever? <laughs> um, and it tends to create a bit of fear. Now, um, we've got in here an apple, carrot... Yeah, I'm putting an apple. Listen, what I'm doing is a little bit of juicing, which is what I'm more known for, obviously. And it can be used as an alternative to alcohol, but, you know, again, it's the psychology that's the, the, the main point. I'm trying um, hard to get excited over a bit of cucumber and okay, courgette listen, in the we same don't... way as I'm over a gin and tonic. And they say, why don't we consume <laughs> enough fruits and vegetables on the whole... Um, you know, why don't we eat enough? We don't eat enough, so if you can't eat it, drink it, and this is the way forward. Just as good as eating. Juicing radically changed my life, often better, uh, because often the nutrients are absorbed much easier. You're one big juice extractor anyway, Alan. Uh, this is your throat, there's your stomach. That's the juice that comes out. So the juice within the fibre that feeds you, Go and on, that's the waste I'm that comes thirsty, out. Just okay, listen. here we go. Right. Uh, we've got some courgette, some cucumber, broccoli stem. That's mineral rich. We've got lemon in there. Tons of vitamins. They're all groaning a, over a, here. A bit of ginger, ginger as well. You need a bit of fresh oh, ginger. Got to keep coals away. Okay, and also raw Bean beetroot. Truth. Great blood builder. Uh, full of nitrates. We're going to put a little bit of celery in there as well. We're going to load it in. A little bit of spinach or spinach. Eh? Uh, on oh, top I of that. I can't wait to taste No, this do you know what? Thing. That's the thing. Uh, it's actually going to taste phenomenally good. You're going to push this through. OK, here we go. Now, what's going to dominate more than anything else is the, is the beetroot colour. Now, because, Ooh, yeah. Red. because you're used to or not used to vegetable juices, I'm going to add one more apple in for you. A bit right? sweeter. Uh, just a little bit sweeter, all right? That's all it is. Now, this is great for children because, you know, especially if you... Look, you can lie to them a little bit. They're going to lie to you when they're older, right? Yeah. So, look, what you do is you say to them, first of all, do you like berries? Yes. Right? This is a separate question. There's no berries in it, but you're just asking them a random question. Uh, and they think that this is... It's rich, it's thick, it's delicious, no artificial colours, no artificial flavours, straight from nature, straight to the glass. <laughs> You know it's good. It is absolutely you know it's good, I'm telling delicious. You. It really is. Yes, it really is. is. Listen, I'll tell you Super. what, I'm right. going to make a quick lemonade. Two apples, lemon, with the rind on. I know we're short on time, but look, we put this through. Alan, I've got to tell you, homemade lemonade, no sugar at all, no added artificial Well, if it's half as good as that, I have to tell you, I didn't expect that to taste anything like Well, do you know what? Good. You went veggie straight away. You went hardcore. But I this... Did. This will oh, just... Oh, I've been hardcore a long time, man. <laughs> <laughs> this will freak you out. This tastes like the sherbet lemonade dib-dab, you know? I'm telling you, man. Two apples and a lemon. Two apples, lemon, with the rind on, homemade lemonade. Get some freezer ice lollies, freeze them, lollipops for kids. Oh, there's so much you can do with fresh juicing, man, I'm telling you. Goodbye, gin. <laughs> <laughs> Jason's recipes can be found on our website. My thanks to Jason Vale. <laughs> <laughs> really, really good. Still to come this Friday afternoon. Former m and favourite, Gina Payne, drops by with music from The Voice, Russell Watson, and an exclusive performance from the cast, my mouth's watching now, of the West End smash hit, Chicago. Plus, I'll be answering some more of your gardening questions. We'll be right back. Cheers. <laughs>